Zero Trust Secure Access enables organizations to get started on their Zero Trust journey without the complexities. By leveraging technologies such as Secure Web Gateway, Cloud App Security Broker, or CASPI, Zero Trust Network Access, and integrations with identification access management solutions, organizations are able to create rules limiting access to resources and applications both on and off the network to only those who need it. The solution offers both securing safe access of websites and SaaS applications through our internet access control and securing access to your corporate data center or private cloud through private access control. Both static permission rules as well as dynamic risk-based rules may be applied. After a user connects, the session is continually being evaluated to determine if access should still be granted. If the user changes functional roles in the company, or their credentials and or device become risky, then their access will be re-evaluated real-time. With Trend Micro's Zero Trust Secure Access being delivered through Trend Micro One, the unified cybersecurity platform, the service is able to assess risk based on many Trend Micro and third-party data points. The capabilities are also being delivered unmanaged using a portal for login or by leveraging an agent. This is the same agent used to deliver Trend Micro's XDR and other Trend Micro offerings allowing you to limit how many agents to maintain on the endpoints. Here's an example of a permission rule. In my organization, Salesforce is blocked by default, and it's only enabled for the users that need access to this SaaS application. I'm going to go into my rules, and I'm going to open up the secure access rules. Inside my internet access control, you can see that I have Salesforce access, and block Salesforce by default. I'm gonna go into the Salesforce access and I'm gonna add my demo user. Now this is allowing access to the CRM and I'm gonna hit save. By going back to the endpoint, we're gonna relaunch Salesforce and now my user has been granted access to this SAS application. Now let's look at a risk-based rule. In this case, I'm accessing the wiki, which is within my private data center. You can see that I currently have access, and I do have access as well to my Office 365. Now I'm gonna do something very risky that immediately tips the scales. I'm going to dump the memory of LSAS. This is used when trying to gather additional credentials to level up on a system. You can see now on the bottom right hand corner that I have been blocked from the wiki. Within the same risk based rule, I also asked that it lock my Office 365 account. So as you can see, wiki access is no longer available and my Office 365 account is no longer available either. Now this kills the connection completely to the corporate data center or virtual private cloud. So even if trying to use PowerShell or any other tools to access the site, you will also receive the same message saying that it is unavailable. I hope you've enjoyed this explanation and demo of Zero Trust Secure Access and I welcome you to connect with a representative today for more information.